Today is Robert Keeley at the uh, Winter NAM 2016 in Anaheim, California, and we've got uh, several new effects out this uh, year, including our tone workstations, our uh, sea foam uh, chorus pedal, and our uh, Gold Star, the latest in our uh, Studio Reverb series. So I'll take you through a little walk uh, through the workstations. First up, we have the Tone Workstation. The Tone Workstation combines our vintage compressor. It has a blend control new for 2016 in the NAM, and it also has a treble boost. Both those things are great for uh, working with humbuckers or hotter output pickups. It allows you to be a little bit more punchy and add in some of the treble that can get lost in a compressor circuit. Next is the, uh, the, the Katana slash 1962 drive section. That's a low uh, to medium gain type drive section. And then finally, the red dirt section, the high saturation tube screamer type circuit for the lead channel. So here's the, the compressor offers uh, some new sounds. Here's just a single coil. As you blend in, you can capture a lot of the treble that's lost in that thing. Again, without without that treble boost and blend, you get a lot lost in the compression. So there you go for that. For the uh, katana boost, the level control here f functions. Perfect for a little boost, needed for solos or just to emphasize what's going on in the song. So if you want to kick it up to a medium gain crunch. There we go. Then, next up is the Mod Workstation. Mod Workstation features external tap tempo and expression pedal control for the modulation effects, of which there are eight. They include things like tremolo, harmonic tremolo, like in our Dyna Trim, the chorus and ADT from our C foam in 30 milliseconds. It includes uh, uh, an envelope filter. It also includes uh, something we've been working on most of the uh, last year, the second half of last year, which is a Leslie speaker simulator, a rotary cabinet. So, take you through a couple of those sounds. There we have a, an oscillating envelope filter. If I turn it down here to the uh, harmonic tremolo, that's one of the features we offered in the Dynatrim. Let's see, we've got our double tracker, I think, up here. Well, that's our chorus. There's the double tracker. So. We have the rotary cabinet. The morph control controls the uh, blend between the, the lower uh, cabinet, the woofer in the cabinet, and the horn up on top. So you can get quite a few different sounds there. And uh, there's also two drive channels in the mod workstation. You've got the Katana 1962, again, for low gain. But for the high gain section, we changed it up a bit and we put the aux blood in there. So the aux blood is featured in the mod workstation and uh, gets you a wealth of tones. Those two sounds, you can combine them for a variety of different uh, tones needed for pushing the modulation section. Last up, we have our delay workstation. There's been a lot of excitement about that because it's got tap tempo on board, and then the expression uh, pedal works interacts with the reverb section. So again, there's uh, eight delay patterns in the uh, delay workstation. The first four are kind of an analog or tape uh, base. So there's a slap back. There's a tape delay, there's an analog bucket brigade uh, type, and then we move to a digital delay, a subdivisions delay, 
I forgot there's also a multi-tap echo, a multi-head echo, like a echo rack type of thing, or a, uh, you know, one of the Vincents. So then uh, we have some kind of fun ones that we came up with, like an octave up, octave down delay. And uh, there's in fact a ducking delay. One of the patterns where as you're playing, the, the repeats are, are, are repressed and so you stop playing and then the echoes come out again. A lot of players have been asking for that. So we, we got that in there as well. All those are tap tempo. On the reverb channel, we've got, we've got expression pedal control. So with your foot, you can, you can, um, thank you, buddy. You can control the, the trails with your feet, at the decay legs with your feet. So. That's kind of fun. There's also actually two delay patterns in, in there as well. So we, you can set up a, a double tap delay. Lastly, we have the C foam, which just came out. That's got our double tracker in it. It's got a, a C foam chorus, uh, like from our earlier model, and then it's got a dual chorus in it. If you take the bottom off of it, you can switch it to a bass player mode. So it works for bass players, and it's got a flanger in there. Lastly, we have the Gold Star Reverb. The Gold Star Reverb is our kind of uh, crazy look at Phil Spector's uh, wall of sound. We have a compressed reverb, a distorted reverb, and a flange reverb. So here, the flange reverb is a lot of fun. There's also a cool distorted one here. I'll turn this down for a second. Have a look at our studio series. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate you checking them out. Include our Magma, Blue Demon, and Pink Diamond cables. These cables are low in capacitance, super affordable, and use 99.9% .9 tough pitch bare copper for their conductor and shield. Extremely flexible, rugged, and limber, they're an ideal choice for entry level players, hobbyists, stage players, and anyone who wants a great bank for buck cable. Our premium series include the ELC, Vintage, American Stadium, and Clear Connect.